Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Prostor Manager and you are watching Ochomania. Guys, we were at the launch of the Royal Enfield Prime 411. It's another avatar for the Royal Enfield Himal and the bike we all love. So guys, let's not waste any time and get started with the video and the unveiling of this motorcycle. And yes, if you like what video, you know what to do. Like, comment, share and subscribe to Ochomania for exclusive automotive updates like these. And yes, the right review of this motorcycle will come really soon into this channel. So keep watching Ochomania. So let's get started with the video. Okay guys, uh, that's the motorcycle. We have two colors over here, but total there are seven color options. And okay, let's start with the black one. Well, uh, this looks totally cool. And uh, you know, you can have the hint of the Himalayan because it looks quite similar to the Himalayan, but there are subtle changes, which I will be saying you. First changes is the, uh, that comes to the wheels. The front tires for Himalayan is around 21 inches, but in this case, it's 19 inches front. And the rear wheels uh, stays the same. The rear wheels is around uh, 17 inches and uh, you get uh, 120 section tires at the rear, 100 section tires up front. Well, the looks have changed. If you look over here, the headlights, the headlights are a bit different. And uh, yes, maybe the round dome shape is exactly the same as the Himalayan, but the cowl have changed this time. And well, there are changes to the speedometers as well. In the Himalayan, you get a lot of more detailed speedometer, but this speedometer is carried forwarded from the Mature 350 and well this is a uh, just cut off from himalayan to get a bit less of things from the himalayan with a bit of a cheaper and affordable pricing well guys depends on what kind of motorcycle you like whether you like the himalayan or this one talking about the engine specs is exactly the same as the himalayan 411 cc of a single cylinder engine which turns at a max power of 24 ps and uh, max torque is around 32 newton meters well the engine specs are exactly the same and uh, uh, to start with the looks, I already said you about the headlight and now coming to the tank, the tank is carry forward from the Himalayan exactly the same as the Himalayan 411 and uh, we have this Royal Enfield uh, written over here, this panel is an uh, add-on in this variant and it does look cool, there is no grill which is present in Himalayan like this, a grill was present in Himalayan right, so that is not available anymore, so uh, you are missing on that one. The seats have changed from the Himalayan. You don't have a split seats anymore. These seats are a single one. The rear mudguard has changed. Well, the tail lamps is exactly the same as the Himalayan. And uh, the, these are the indicators. You have a hazard system this time. This is the speedometer, which has been for carry forwarded from the uh, Mature 350. The tank is 15 liters of fuel capacity. And you would expect the mileage to be exactly the same as that of the Royal Himalayan. The front tires is a bit shortened up this time with 19 millimeters, 19 inches. And the rear is uh, 17 inches. You have the finger uh, crash guard protector of your fingers. And uh, well, this is all accessories. We have one exercise motorcycle over here. You get the panniers and these are all part of the accessory list. There is endless uh, accessories which is available for this motorcycle, guys. And uh, you can take this motorcycle very easily for long routes and all. And yes, Ladakh or Spiti or Sikkim, whatever, Gurudurma, it's all on with this motorcycle as well. With a bit of, bit of affordability. Yes, this motorcycle is around 20,000 rupees cheaper than the likes of the Himalayan. And well, I think the price is justified for under, uh, around 20,000 rupees cheaper than Himalayan. Coming to the suspension, suspension is exactly the same than that of the Himalayan front and the back 41 millimeter telescopic front forks with a tall travel suspension and the rear is a monoshock and it does the job perfectly uh, this is all uh, oil cooled engine with 411 feet of capacity is exactly identical and here we have the catalytic converter over here we have the chassis which is identical and the same and this motorcycle is in the same platform as that is Himalayan that's the reason the chassis is also the, exactly the same we have something over here let's find out what's it I think that's how you change the trip yes that's the switch for the trip okay uh, from here you can, you can change the trip a trip b or whatever yes you can change the trip from here and yes that's the motorcycle 
guys it was a very quick quick walk around of these two motorcycles and uh, i wanted to show how this motorcycle looks in uh, flesh yes there was some spy images which leaked out and this turned out to be the exactly the same not not much of a difference yes brakes the front brakes are 300 mm a front and the rear brakes are 240 millimeters we have dual channel abs as standard braking is also the same so well it's not an exactly all new generation of motorcycle it's another genre of motorcycle with same platform and yes both are targeted towards different like himalayan is a hardcore off-roader and this is a uh, off-roading machine which you can also ride on road on a daily basis so yes that's the basic difference between two motorcycle guys guys uh, let me know what do you think of this one and yes uh, talking about the pricing this motorcycle is available of, uh, at a price tag of around uh, 2.4 lakhs on road yes 2.4 lakhs on road it's a very very good prospect and talking about the competition this motorcycle goes head on with the likes of the Yazdi Adventure we just got launched a few a month back maybe and yes we have done the review of that motorcycle in our channel if you have not watched the video go to our channel and do go to the description box and uh, watch the review of the adventure you can have a clear review of what do you think about the adventure and this and this cram 411 well that motorcycle adventure had some issues the Yazdi Adventure which had a low less of low end torque and all well i don't think that's a problem with the rolling field because we get the torque very low and uh, yes we shall find out how this motorcycle fights against the likes of the yazdi adventure and if you want the comparison of these two motorcycle the scram 411 and the yazdi adventure do let me know in the comment section down below i would definitely try to bring the review as soon as possible into this channel guys let's hear the exhaust note of this one Well guys, uh, almost the same as the Himalayan and the sound we are used to with roll in fields and uh, yes, I quite like it, there is nothing new and well that's the overall look of the motorcycles this is the black sunset orange color and this is the red and white color choose whatever you want there are seven different color options and yes i like them all drop in your comments and drop in your thoughts about this motorcycle what do you think if this is a game changer for all infield uh, this is a motorcycle with the same platform as the himalayan same engine same chassis same fuel tank but a bit of uh, changes in the tires sitting position the seat height which is almost uh, five millimeters lower than the himalayan even the ground clearance has decreased the himalayan has 220 millimeter ground clearance and this has some uh, 2 to 210 millimeter of ground clearance so ground clearance has decreased in this motorcycle and well if is that a deal breaker i don't think so on daily basis 200 millimeters is more than enough at the ground clearance uh, to ride a motorcycle and even you can take to hard off-roading with 200 millimeter of ground clearance so that is not an issue at all for me so yes that's the motorcycle guys that's the that's the first look yes these are the two motorcycles from royal field guys let me know what you what do you think about these motorcycles what do you think about the looks and uh, two motorcycles in the same platform from royal field will it work so would you go for the himalayan full-blown himalayan or would you like to try the scrambler or the scram 411 drop me in the comments and let me know what do you think about this motorcycle the mirrors are the same the handle is a bit different carry forward from the himalayan and uh, well there's a small uh, trip switch over here which does look good and overall fit and finish is as good as royal enfield we all know the build finish build quality of royal enfield that has improved a lot over the years and which is already seen in the products current generation of products and uh, yes the build quality has improved the bike has improved and we have all new products from royal enfield yes maybe it's the same motorcycle but in different package but it's aimed for different uh, genre of customers this is not not for people who want hardcore off-roading and go, want to go to Ladakh kitchen every day but it can also handle hardcore off-roading I'm very sure about it and yes no issues will be there for riding this motorcycle on day to day basis and yes because of the uh, seat height satellite which has reduced drastically to around uh, 795 millimeters that will help shorter riders to take take this motorcycle for a ride on a daily basis and in traffic there won't be any issues for tiptoeing and you can go with this motorcycle full blown with any kind of rides on highways or into off-roading territories guys now when we get onto the motorcycle yes 
the sea tight is uh, not uh, as much as the Himalayan this is quite reachable yes for my height with people with my height I might be tiptoeing a bit but yes it's acceptable because I am 5'6 5'7 the sea tight of this one and the GT is almost the same around 795 uh, millimeter of sea tight and yes quite I'm quite comfortable the ergonomics feels good the tank is slim it's carry forwarded from the Himalayan and the handlebar is wide is the mirror gives a uh, good view of the traffic from the back the fit and finish from all and field as usual is perfect fit and finish as i was saying is uh, very good from all and field the switch gear feels nice and uh, when i start the motorcycle okay so when i start the motorcycle the is very much uh, similar to that of the Himalayan which we all love the speedometer is uh, simple we lack the trip meter and all those fancy gadgets in the Himalayan which we get but yes it does the purpose it has a decent uh, amount of information gear position indicator the speedometer the trip meter the distance to the fuel gauge indicators yes what more do you need uh, in a bike for you know on this category I think it has decent amount of information yes you don't have uh, turn button navigation but that can be also fit as an accessory and these the cover the bug buster or like this the protectors finger protector that is also available as accessories the panniers can also be taken as accessories so no problem guys there are endless op options available for this motorcycle to modify it to your taste yes uh, next point is the looks and this part see it is up to you up to you up to each and every individual if you like this look looks are subjective that can be different from person to person yes i am quite uh, okay with the looks it doesn't matter to me i would just like to fit a tall windscreen over here so that i don't get a lot of wind blast when i'm into the highway otherwise i'm perfect with this motorcycle this looks good it feels light it's also around 20 25 000 rupees cheaper than himalayan overall a very good tightly packaged motorcycle by Rollin infield guys drop in your comments let me know what you think about this motorcycle would you go for the fully blown himalayan or would you like to come and try the scram 411 and which one would you like to take back home Guys, if you're interested in any kind of Royal Elfin offering, you can get in touch with RH Automotive Durgapur. And I thank them for the continuous support they have been giving to Automania since uh, the inception of the channel. And yes, the details are given in the description box down below. You can get in touch with them and book a test ride for any kind of Royal Enfield motorcycles you wish to ride on. Guys, that's it for this episode of Automania. That was the first uh, look and first walk around of the Royal Enfield Scram 411. I hope you liked it. The detailed review and the ride review will be coming very soon on Automania and to watch that episode stay tuned to this channel and if you like what we do you know what to do like comment share and subscribe to this channel for exclusive automotive updates like these so that's it for the episode and I always as I always say wear your helmets when you're riding wear your seat belts while driving and never drink and drive this is Prosun Manaji you are watching Automania signing off Ta -da.